In this video, we will create a conversational program using the Miltronics Chip Boss Milling Cycle. So for this example, we're going to have a 6 inch by 4 inch by inch and a half piece of material. We're going to call this corner X0, Y0. So let's look at our conversational program. Here we have our solid model defined. I have the tool change page set up. So now we're going to insert our milling cycle. So F6 insert, F2 mill, F1 start mill, our Z pierce feed rate, put at 50 inches a minute, our XY feed rate, 75, clearance of 0.1, our first Z depth of negative one inch, our final Z depth of negative one inch, and our increment of one. We're gonna take this all in one cut, you can take shallower depth increments if you want to, but with the trochoidal pattern, it's nice to take a deep a depth as you can and move over with your width of cut. So our pierce point will be X0, Y0. And our clearing options, you can have your pocket clear one and two or your chip boss pocket clear. We're gonna choose the chip boss pocket clear. And now you have a field come up that says cut width. What width do you want to use here? We're going to use 150 thousandths for width of cut. And we're going to leave 20 thousandths for X and Y finish stock. And you also get to select if you want to start from the inside out of your geometry or the outside in. For this one, we'll choose the outside in. So we'll start on the outside and work our way towards the center. So I'll select F1 store. Now you're going to want to define your geometry border. So F2 geometry, F1 line. So if we plunge at X0, Y0, our first movement is going to be towards X6. And then align to negative 4. Store that. Another line back to X of 0. And another line to Y0. F1 store. And F4 and milling cycle. So now let's hit escape one time and push F11 preview. And we're going to see our milling pattern start on the outside, work your way in. So here's your tool path. You can see the trochoidal pattern started on the outside, worked its way in at 150 thousandths width of cut. And you can also go from the inside out. So let's go back to our program, go to our start mill page. Right here where we had inside, outside in, select F1 edit and change that to inside out. And now it's gonna start in the inside of your geometry and work its way to the outside, avoiding the outer boundary that we defined and there you can see your tool path. So it's pretty easy to change from inside out or outside in. And you can also avoid an island if there's an island of geometry in here. You can simply go to your program and at the end of your milling cycle, call an island. So here's where we ended our milling cycle. Let's hit F1 edit. Let's call an island number one. Now we're going to insert F2 mill, F2 geometry, and F7 island. Island number one. And now you're just going to define the points of the island geometry. So x of two, y of negative one. Store that. Now another line x of 3, store that, another line to negative 2, another line going out to x4, another line to y of negative 3, another line to x of 2, and another line up to y of negative 1. That'll complete the outline geometry of our island 
F8 and island. So here we entered our island, F1 store. And now when we hit preview, you're going to see it avoid the island in the center of that part, as well as the outer boundary. Right now it's calculating the toolpath. And there it is milling the toolpath. You can see how it avoids the boundary. It's always climb cutting. It's doing a full one inch depth of cut. So it's a unique tool path, but it's very efficient. And now if you'd wanna come from the outside in, let's leave that island there. But let's say we're gonna start on the outside of the park. Let's go back to our third event. And let's edit our from inside out to outside in. All we changed was outside in. Now F11 preview. Now it's recalculating the tool path. And there you can see it's going from the outside in towards our island. And if you have really unique geometry that you're avoiding for your island, you can bring that in as a DXF file and it just saves on some of your manual programming. But as far as the chip boss cycle goes, it's very user friendly. You define your outer boundary and your islands and your width of cut and depth of cut. And the control takes care of all the calculations for you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.